Life is good. Heaven letter number 5525. January 9, 2016. Tender is the heart of God. And, yet, some of my children, from time to time, or all their lives, see me as an ogre who seems to get in their way. It is good to remember that I am on your side, as if there are sides. There is no advantage to you or anyone in carrying the idea that I am opposed to you. Life is not always an easy ride. This is no secret. Perhaps you have pounced on the difficulties you experience to the exclusion of your blessings. I know what you feel and how you feel. It is the hardest thing of all in your reckoning to lose a child. I am well aware of the pain this creates. I do not fluff it off, dear ones. I am not hard-hearted when I must say that you hurt your own heart. If you held your child in your arms for one year, or twenty, or fifty, will you not be glad for the days and years granted you? The alternative might be that you never birthed your flown-away child. Is this what you would choose? I don't think so. There is great pain experienced on the earth. Everyone knows that. Do you think I do not know? I do not set out to hurt you. Death may seem like the worst thing on earth to you. This idea comes at your expense because, dear ones, you see death as an enemy. This is a mistake of the intellect. You cannot believe that such a blow as losing a beloved one could happen to you. You would prevent or remove death from the face of the earth if you could. You would wipe out death so that no one would suffer. I do not make light of what you go through. As you perceive loss, you can only suffer. Death of your beloved ones is insufferable to imagine let alone to experience. Dear ones, when you suffer, you put yourself through it. Emotions follow thoughts. Your perception of death is the culprit. Your convictions are the culprit. You have been inculcated with the idea that loss equals suffering. You grew up with that idea. Some might say you were born with it, for, as a young child, you cried at the loss of your toy truck or doll. Death is part of life. Death is a normal part of life. In life, there is flow. What in life stays the same, beloveds? The tide comes in, and the tide goes out. You cannot hold back the tide. Somehow, in some way, get over the idea that either life or death is a punishment. Suffering loss is an idea. It is an idea that you have always gone along with. There are those who would say that hurtfulness is the nature of life and death. Who is it who hurts your heart? Certainly, you are at least a partner in it. The nature of life is joy, not suffering. Take your pick. It is a story that you suffer. You have bought the story. You uphold the story as if you cannot be mistaken. Beloveds, there is no ownership, and, therefore, there is no loss. Honor your heart that you see as broken and have your good cries. Cry your heart out. You don't know what else to do. When a loved one parts from you by choice, you mourn this as the same as death. He is alive, and you find cause to mourn, for he, apparently, is lost to you. You cry at what might have been. You cry for what you wish had been and could yet be if only it could. You do not cry forever. I have heard the world say that you can never get over loss. I understand what is meant, yet over long suffering is not precious. Don't beat yourself up anymore. Be your own friend. Love yourself too. Love more rather than attach. Life is an open book. There are blank pages yet to be written on. Write something like, Then I lifted my head. I looked around me and saw anew with greater sight and insight, and I got up and started walking. In wonderment, I heard myself say, Life is good. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org